Okay, here's an interesting lesson what I learned from uh, my toilet bowl the other day was like leaking, right? And the leaks, it comes from the screws. So the water basically drips here from the screws, one of the screws, just one of the screws, right? So in this uh, tank, there's uh, like three screws. And actually I tried to just change one screws. It doesn't work, it's still like leaking. Um, so I decided to change all the three screws, right? It still doesn't work. It's still leaking. So, um, um, this is what happened exactly. So, this is the configuration when you wanna um, put the, the screws inside the, the, the tank, right? So first you wanna put the, uh, the, um, the, the metal washer and then the gasket, right? And then this goes inside the tank over there, right? So you want, and this is really, really important. You want uh, the the rubber gasket to touch the ceramic because when you tighten the the screws, you don't want to break the ceramic, right? So just remember that one. You have to want to touch the uh, the rubber gasket to touch the ceramic. And then uh, from the star or from the uh, the the manual. The manual of this thing, yeah, this, uh, I bought this from Ace Hardware, or from the people I talked to. Um, they recommend just to put a bolt here, at the bottom of the tank. So, this screw goes inside the tank, right, and then goes underneath here, and then you just put a bolt there. So, that's what I did, I put a bolt there, and then I put at the bottom, again, at the bottom here, and then I put another, uh, gasket and metal as you can see from there and then the screws screw it so that doesn't work right so um, the second solution I tried was instead of just putting a bolt here in the one in between um, the the tank and the toilet bowl I put another pair of um, what do you call this gasket and a metal and then a bolt right and then another at the bottom another gasket and a metal washer and the screws so the, the final solution was there's gonna be three pairs of this right three pairs of gasket and metal washer so again first metal washer gasket goes inside the tank and then from there you put another um, what do you call this uh, gasket and <laughs> Uh, metal washer and then you screw it so make make sure it's uh, tight tight but it's not too tight because otherwise it's gonna break the bolt probably right the tank and then you put another at the really bottom of the uh, the tank bolt you want to put another uh, gasket and a metal washer and finally the, the this kind of type of screws and then just hand tight it make sure it just is tight still doesn't work the water still like dripping right underneath and then um, my the third solution I put finally I put the Teflon tip right so and it, it turns out it, it works so you can see here if you see the threads of the screws so what actually happens was the the water actually is dripping from the threads see there's this little little tiny hole from the threads right so the water drips from there right just go around and around and circle and then finally drop at the bottom of the screws so what I did was to put all this uh, Teflon tape, like, I don't know, three, four times. The thicker the better, you want it to be more thick, right? So to prevent that from leaking. And then it works, okay? But you need to put the Teflon, this is really important. And then you want to put like three pairs of this, right? One from the top of the tank, and then uh, another pair for the one to tighten between uh, the, the, the tank and the, at the bottom, and the bottom of the tank. And then the last one is to tighten the bottom of the bowl, right, to the tank, right. So hopefully that will work.